Well, this was a long time coming. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys, Sonic Ryan 9 here, and today, doing something a little bit uh, different, something I haven't done in a while. Today I am doing a discussion video, by myself, and completely with no script, no notes, just going over what's basically been talked about already, regarding a particular game that got announced at the Game Awards. Yep, Crash. Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Oh my god. So, you're probably wondering, what is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled all about? Basically, take the original Crash Team Racing way back on in 1999 on the PlayStation 1. Oh my god, it's going to be 20 years since, the next, since that game came out next year. God, I'm old. But anyway, take that game... Add the insane trilogy flair to it, and you have Nitro Fueled for the PlayStation 4, as well as Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch. So I do have a few details um, on here. Um, so the game is going to come with all of the original modes, so that's going to assume that it's going to come with the quick race function, four player versus and battle mode and yes even the adventure mode thank god it has been so long since we've had a kart race over a full-on adventure mode as well as all the characters tracks power-ups weapons and controls which hopefully means everything we did in the original crash team racing we can do in the remake or remaster or whatever we want to call it it's in that sort of category of game. Um, yeah, well, I, when I first saw the trailer, I was amazed that they were doing this because, I, I mean, for a while, I thought that, I mean, I wanted a Crash Team Racing, a new Crash Team Racing game for the longest time because, well, it was one of my favorite kart racers that I had ever played at the time when I first played this. I mean, keep in mind, this is coming from someone who didn't own a Nintendo 64, so all I had was a Sega Dreamcast and the original PlayStation. And being that the Sega Dreamcast didn't really have any signature kart races at the time, unless I'm missing something, the PlayStation is what gave me the kart racing fix. And what pretty much gave me my love and passion for all kart races out there, both good and bad. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I just ate. Um, but, yeah, and when I first played Crash Team Racing, I was instantly hooked. I loved the feel of the karts, I loved all the characters. Heck, this was one, one of my earliest memories of beating a game to 100%. That's how much I loved Crash Team Racing when I was a child. I loved the heck out of this game, even though I didn't really have anyone to play this with, and I was one of those unlucky um, people who didn't own a multi-tap, so I wasn't even able to do four-player, multiplayer, split-screen, awesome action. I still had a fun time playing it. Skip ahead 19 years later, and being that the Crash Bandicoot Ensign Trilogy has been a massive success, selling both well, well and review-wise it did quite well, not to mention the Spyro Reignited Trilogy also gets released and again does well both reception-wise and sales-wise, we're back with Crash. With uh, this Crash Bandicoot Crash Team Racing Remake. Like I said, it comes with all the original modes, all the original characters, so I'm going to assume that we're going to start with the original eight characters and then we'll have to unlock everyone again, which I am totally okay with. The original tracks, again, all the tracks I remember. I, I have all the tracks memorized. I should be good with this. All the original power-ups, weapons, 
and controls, which I'm hoping, based on what this is saying, will be able to perform all the classic tricks, like being able to jump over that wall in, I think, Polar Pass, I think it was called. Because I always loved doing that in the original. Just being able to get so much speed that you can jump over that wall at that really tight turn and get such an, adva an advantage over the computers who would never be, who would never do it because they're not programmed that way. Oh, it was it was just so fun. It was just so fun. And looking at this, it's looking like it's got all the flavors that I'm looking for for a crash racing game. Now, this isn't just the original game just completely revamped. By going over the description on both the official website and on the PlayStation Store, this is telling me that there are going to be some new features that are going to be used in this game that weren't featured in the original. For example, Power Slide... From the official website it's here, it says Power Slide to Glory in additional carts and tracks from beyond the original game. Which basically tells me that we could be looking at some new tracks that weren't featured in Crash Team Racing. We could very well see some tracks from Crash Nitro Kart here. Which brings me on to my next point. If you guys look in the trailer and you look at, I think it's the part after where it says race online, which we'll get to. You see Crash Bandicoot driving in four different carts that aren't just the regular go-kart that you see in the original Crash Team Racing. Now, I don't know if many, how many of you guys noticed this, but those four carts that they show off, those are the exact same carts that are featured in Crash Nitro Kart. You know, the blue cart is referencing Team Bandicoot. The red bike looking cart is referencing Team Cortex. The yellow cart is referencing the Oxide team. And the green cart is referencing Entrance. Just a little bit of crash trivia for you guys right there. Um, and uh, yeah, that gives me the idea that maybe we'll see some other stuff like maybe stuff from crash um, tag team racing or maybe even the ios games you never know <laughs> or and here's what i'm really hoping maybe we'll see some completely brand new carts and tracks tracks that have never ever been made for crack for the original crash team racing or any pro or any future uh crash racing games that have been released up to this point you never know and uh, speaking of additional stuff, the game has already been confirmed that it's getting a Deluxe Edition, also known as the Nitrous Oxide Edition, which brings me on to my next point. It has been confirmed that Nitrous Oxide, a character that was originally thought to be unplayable in the original game due to the fact that the PlayStation 1 was unable to handle Nitrous Oxide because of his big model, he is going to be a fully realized playable character in this game. Oh my god, that has been my dream since I originally saw Oxide as the final boss. Like, you have no idea how long I've been waiting just to play as Oxide in regular races. Now, I technically have already technically done that in emulation form, but... That's a very unstable version. I'm talking being able to play as Oxide in all tracks and race, you know, just race regular races against other competitors as Nitrous Oxide and his overpowered stat cart, his other craft cart. Which again, that's also coming to this, which I am very happy about. And I cannot wait, I seriously cannot wait to do that in this new game. And um, the last thing I just really want to talk about is um, online play is coming to Crash Team Racing Nitro F Fueled. Again, I, it's such a simple addition, but it makes so much sense. If they want to compete with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, these are features that are needed to be placed in order to compete with Mario Kart. 
and to a sense Team Sonic Racing, but we'll talk about that another time. But yeah, everything I'm seeing here is getting a big thumbs up from me, and I absolutely cannot wait to, to see more of this game. Not only that, but also get get a chance to play it, because I really want to see how the game controls. I want to see how close they got it to the original as they can. I want to see, you know, people actually performing some of that cool, some of the cool, um, jump, the boost tricks that a lot of people do in um, Crash Team Racing in the original, and all the cool little shortcuts that people have been able to create from the original. Because there's some crazy things that you can do with the um, the boosts that you get from uh, the jumps and whatnot, especially in time trial. Like, oh my goodness. There's some um, crazy tricks that even I haven't been able to pull. Um, but maybe that's my skill level, and maybe it's the fact that I haven't played Crash Team Racing in a long time. But uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be... Um, this This is definitely a great time to um, get back behind the wheel, no pun intended, um, and uh, play this again. Like, I seriously can't wait to see all the tracks remade. Now, I know there's going to be some people out there who are going to be like... Really? Another Crash Bandicoot remake? What is this? Crash Bandicoot? Is is Crash Bandicoot... Let, what am I trying to say? Is Crash Bandicoot only stuck to just doing remakes? What's next? Crash Twin Sanity remade? Or of the Titans remade? Or blah 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 blah. Like, I get that. But I see this as just the only... This is like... Honestly, I think this is the only other time they can get away with this. Because I know it's a highly requested game, and honestly, I just feel like it was it. it this kind of needed to happen in a way, because many people have been asking for it. Many people wanted it, and I feel like just, we'll make this one an exception. But next time, we get something new. That's all I want. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and one last thing I want to point. Please, for the love of God, put Spyro in this game. That would be just the the, the the best thing to have Spyro in this, along with Crash. Activision, Beanox, if you're listening, make that happen. That's all I ask. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I've got to say, really. The game comes out in June. 21st I think I want to say yeah June 21st 2019 uh, and I can't wait to get it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later goodbye